the power of puppetry is on display at the Museum of the City of New York. Culture, politics, and art combine in this exhibit featuring more than 100 puppets, all with strong ties to New York City. CBS 2's Dave Carlin reports. I am in a museum. Lamb Chop greets visitors to this gallery at the Museum of the City of New York for Puppets of New York. Amazing what I can accomplish. She is perpetually six years old, a puppet star created in the 1950s by Parkchester, the Bronx native Sherry Lewis. She knew how to dance, she knew how to sing, she knew magic. It was like an incredible package of a woman. She knew business really, really well. Curator Moncho Lopez gives us this tour, pointing out Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade balloons are upside down marionettes. Some puppets here need no introductions. Jim Henson tailored his character based on a very rude tavern waiter in Lower Manhattan. Well, my name's Oscar the Grouch. And, and the I voice of Sesame Street's Oscar the Grouch is based on a Bronx cab driver. Some of New York City's first known puppets came packed in the luggage of European immigrants, like Punch and Judy. Punch is a rubber rouser. He gets away with murder, literally. Some of the first records that we have here in New York City about puppets are basically arrest records. Cops arresting puppeteers because they were performing, performing without permits and creating trouble. Chinese shadow figures are probably the second oldest puppetry tradition in New York City. And here you get to see how shadow puppets work because right over here on the other side of the exhibit is a look behind the scenes at the puppeteers. These puppets are a mouse and cockroach from the imagination of storyteller and New York City librarian Pura Belpre. Popular beginning in the 1930s, the offbeat story of Perez and Matilda. They get married and then one day she's cooking soup for him and he goes to taste it, he drops into the soup and he dies. This is a story you liked growing up. <laughs> yes. That's really dark. <laughs> it's really dark. Candid, even subversive messaging is common. The daughter of the late Sherry Lewis, Mallory Lewis, had her sister Lamb Chop explain. One of the ways that Shari stoked the truth was she stoked the truth through me. 25 presidents, all men. Not one could do the job right. But I'm just not so perfectly sure that it's me. Puppets make us laugh, move us to tears, and speak truth to power. These bold creatures have and always will make up the very fabric of New York City. Dave Carlin, CBS2 News.